Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be continuing on with The Legend of Zelda on the NES. Now, in the previous episode, we completed the first dungeon as well as did a bunch of pickups. Um, we got the candle, the arrows, and the bow. We got a bunch of parts and stuff like that. So now we're going to be moving on to the next dungeon. But before we do that, we will actually be entering into the shop here and collecting the ring for 250 rubies. So we're just going to collect this. This is going to turn us from green to white. And I believe it's also going to give us increased defense. So 250 rubies is a bit expensive, but if it prevents us from dying, it's a pretty good bargain. So now we're going to be making our way over to another dungeon. Now before I actually did this episode, I did a bit of searching so to figure out where I'm going, so that way I'm not aimlessly running around trying to find the next area. I myself a little bit more prepared for this episode than I was in the previous one. I'm also doing myself a huge favour and going to be writing down a bunch of notes to let myself know where exactly I have to go and what I have to do for my full walk throughout the game. This way, no. I'm gonna go right and then I'm gonna go up and around. This way. Take these bloody things. I may actually have to go right. Guess I wasn't prepared enough. I know it's close to the middle of the map. I know the middle, um, to the right of the map, in the middle, sort of, area. Vertically, not horizontally, of course. And is it on the left? Yep. Pretty sure this is the area. Yep, yes it is. Okay, so I just went the wrong direction, but I was pretty close. Alright, we're gonna go to the right. Take out the snakes. Being careful because they will speed bullets me. They see. They look in my general direction. Like that. Alright, we're gonna open up this door and see if there's something in here. Oh, that's good. We've got the compass. That'll uh, let us know where we have to go. I do like in the map how they uh, change the color of Link's marker from green to white when he changes armor. Ah, oh, that's the boomerang. Alright. 
was wondering what that was last episode. That's the map. Uh, do we move these by any chance? I don't know what they move. We can actually go back and go to the left, which is something I will do, so that way I don't have to go back and forth. These guys out, click that key. And there's one more area that we didn't go to, so we just go back and to the right. Wait, no, pretty sure I already went in there, didn't I? My bad, I've already been in there. Right, so we're just going to be making our way up to the top of the dungeon. Like the key, go over to the right. That give us the uh, an upgraded version of the boomerang. The looks of it, it does. And we've got a fairy. That's nice. Got some bombs, which I feel like would be used for something, they're not going to give us bombs for no reason. Take out the cheese. The Dongos dislike smoke. I mean, I feel like they don't actually, it's not smoke that they disagree with, it's um, a bomb in their stomach. Yeah, doing barely any damage now with the um, white armor, which is awesome. More bombs. I'm assuming we're going to be using this for the boss fight. We're just going to drop up there. No? Oh, there we go. And that is the next piece of the Triforce. That was actually extremely easy and fast. Probably good I got the left the ring for this episode because it was a pretty short episode. Alright, before I leave it, I'm gonna check and see if there's anything uh, in these underneath these guys.
Alright, there's nothing there. Alright, so this is going to be the end of the episode. Um, it's a very short one, so I am a bit sorry about that. Hopefully the next one will be a little bit longer. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. I uh, hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.